Day 17 until the due date. We had a lot go on today. Um, so let's just start off with the doctor's appointment. Haley, take it away. I showed up for the NST scan and I had an appointment, which usually means I'll be in and out. Like they'll do a 20 minute test so they can hear the heartbeat and then like a quick ultrasound for the water levels or something. In your, the water in your what? So the baby's not in your stomach. The way baby's in your womb. Your uterus. That? Oh man, that baby would be big <laughs> by now if they were eating all that food that I was eating. Yeah, so I got there and they were like, oh, it's downstairs today. Oh, wait, are you talking about amniotic fluid? Yeah. It's amniotic fluid. Anyways, the NST nurse didn't show up, so. Because it's Veterans Day. Maybe that's it. I don't know. She didn't show up, so then they put me in the triage room, and there's, like, chaos going on in the triage room. There was an open bed, then they sat me there for, like, 30, 40 minutes. The baby was, like, sleeping, I guess, or just not, like, reacting yeah. to the test. So, like, her heartbeat's just, like, chilling, and I think that's not what they're looking for. Right. So then I was like, yo, I gotta pee. I've been there for like 40 minutes. Yeah. She was like, okay, you can get up and then we'll do your ultrasound. And then we'll have to put you back on the monitor. And then I'm going to give you some. And, oh, she didn't even ask like if I wanted juice. She's just like, do you want cranberry, orange juice, or apple? And I was like, huh? Like none. She's like, I don't drink juice. I'm going to have to pee again. <laughs> so anyways, I picked orange juice. They put it over ice. They measured my water. And it was like 21.9, which has been the highest it's been. Oh, and then we realized my feet hang off the hospital bed because I'm tall. Because I had to kick a table out of the way. Straighten my legs. Just, oh, then we went back on the heartbeat thing. And then she like woke up. Yeah. And so her heartbeat was like, what they want it to do is go up and down, I guess. Over the course of the freaking two hours I was there, it was at a 135. But most of that she was sleeping, so. It's good. <laughs> It is whatever. Yeah. My heart rate was probably there too. Um, well, we're doing the podcast, so Haley's got to burp and yawn. <laughs> and you burped and yawned at the same time. Right into the mic. Code blue. There was code oh, blue. Yeah, then there was a code blue, and I was like, what's a code blue? Yeah. When someone's going into cardiac arrest in the maternity ward, and that's terrifying. So, anyways, I was terrified. I saw lots of feet hanging out of the curtains of the triage room. I mean, these women are all pregnant. Right. <sighs> People are calling in. They're like, I think I'm in labor. And I'm like, this is a nightmare in here. And then like one nurse came in to tell, telling another nurse, she's like, do you want to deal with the patient throwing up everywhere? Or do you want me to? And I'm like, a lot happening here. Yeah. I waited in the car like a good husband would. Then we left, right? Um, came back. We saw two homeless people having sex. Uh, well, I saw the butt. I saw like... <laughs> The naked it looked like they just woman. finished. It was on the overpass going on the 101, 134. But yeah, like she was pulling her pants up and walking away from what looked like a bed. I don't know. There was like a little fort. The guy was on the bed, like kind of going like this, like he's pulling his pants up. So pretty sure they just finished things up right in broad daylight. It was one in the afternoon on a very busy street. I can only imagine if you had kids and you were driving by that thing, having to explain like, mommy, what's going on over there? And it's Los a tough Angeles thing. Los Angeles is a mess. It is a dumpster fire. They should rename it Thunderdome. I don't understand. I'll never understand. But anyway, so after that. I cooked. Haley made me some sweet food. It was very good. Um, she made me uh, a bagel with some eggs on it. Did you say bagel? Bagel. 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 Yeah. Bagel. Is it bagel or Avocado, bagel? Avocado, eggs, and bagel. You guys let us know in the comments below, you know? Because <laughs> everyone's watching. This. Everybody does it. Yeah, both viewers. Like, yeah. <laughs> If anybody is watching this episode, write a comment. Just one person. Um, write a comment. Let us know. Is it bagel or bagel? And then... What do you think it I is? I vacuumed. It's bagel. I vacuumed. I swiffered the floor. I moved the stroller from that side of the room to that side of the room because there's just a lot of baby shit everywhere. And this is like after I deep cleaned like 
mm-hmm. my entire life. Yeah. I deep cleaned it. I threw so much stuff away and now there's baby stuff everywhere. I edited another one of these, um, which takes forever by the way. And I'm way behind, but I got another one out and it is up now. I, I don't know what number, I can't remember. I wanna say 21, something like that. So we're a few yeah, days behind. Really behind. I'm I'm behind on posting them, but I'm not behind on filming them. We like we've been yeah, on it. That's right? true. These are happening on the right. Things. Yeah. Uh, when, oh, and we went grocery shopping yesterday, and now Josh wants to go out and get pizza. So yeah. I'm like, I don't understand. Well, I'm tired, and I don't feel like cooking, and it sounds really good right now. I worked really hard for seven minutes today during the workout. And when I say worked really Josh hard, beat me by twenty reps still. And and now that I actually look back, I think I really gave about like an 80% effort. But I, I went very slow this. relative to what I'm capable of, I think. Yeah, I failed my last lift today. That was smart, though. That was smart. Yeah, I was also wearing smart, running smart. shoes. And no knee sleeves. Oh, okay. Anyway. It's fine, because I'm not like... Hey, guys, I want to also say something else. I screwed up today. Mm. I stayed too long at the gym, and I forgot that we had scheduled to go and take some photos up at Mulholland during the golden hour. I, it was my fault. I totally screwed it up. When Haley made me aware of it, I got upset because I was like, you didn't say anything about this all day. We hadn't talked about it for like three days or something like that. And anyway, I got upset and that was the wrong thing to do. It was my fault. I should have owned up to it, but you know, I'm a human being and sometimes I screw up and I lose my temper and that was not cool. So I apologized. And, you know, Haley was upset at the time at me for sure, which she had a right to be. And so I left to go get some tools and just do something else. And I started thinking about it. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm a total dick. And I wanted to make her feel better. And I was like, dude, what can I do? Because nothing, nothing works. <laughs> you know, if you guys have not read the book, the love language, the five love languages, you need to do that. Haley's love language is gifts. So if I had tried to like, say something nice or give her a hug or do something for her, like, you know, cook her something or whatever, that would have completely backfired and she would have been totally upset with me. And I was like, I cannot do that. I must get her a gift. And so I went to this awesome little uh, flower shop nearby and I told the owner what happened and how I was an asshole and uh, he and I that I wanted to get her a gift uh, to make up. He was totally cool, gave me a rose. And then as we were driving by a few days, or it was today or like something like that, I remember Haley remarking as she was looking in the window, they have these like little rocks that are like these crystals. Or amethyst. Amethyst. And she was like, I want a purple rock. And she was just kind of like joking or whatever, but I got her a little purple rock. And uh, I apologize and I'm really sorry. I love my rock. I love you. (laughs) (laughs) I know. Why did I tell you guys that story? The reason is because I want you all to understand that marriage is very, very hard. If you had been present when we were arguing, you'd be like, this is a disaster. This isn't gonna last, there's no way. But it requires you both to bury your ego in a few ways. The first is obviously for me, I screwed up. And even if I feel like I had some sort of like ground to stand on and that I was right, it doesn't matter. Like I needed to apologize take the lead and just be like, you know what? I'm gonna own my part of it and what I could control. And I needed to know Haley well enough to apologize in a way that she could receive it and contemplate whether or not she wanted to forgive me. And then the other half of it was her being able to kind of give me grace and be like, he makes mistakes, but he's still a good guy. And I'm glad we're married. I think that's a good place to wrap things up, dude. Pizza time. (laughs) All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow.